Your Heart is So Big by Jillian V. Yeager. He was a brave, loving, playful, and very loyal dog. His owner, Kevin, died and left him with his family. Sadly, they did not want him. He kept searching for Kevin but could not find him. He'd never felt so hurt and sad before, and so alone. At night, he slept in Kevin's red truck, but kept a keen eye out for him. Kevin! Kevin, where are you? I am cold, hungry, and sad. I have no friends, no one to play ball or have fun dancing with anymore. I miss you, miss you, cried the poor dog. During the day, he looked for food in the trash. No dog food, chicken or pizza? I will take anything, he mumbled. On this day, he could not find any food, poor dog. He wondered if anyone would help him. He searched for food until nightfall. On this night, on his way back to the truck, he met Jack, who lived nearby. Hello, handsome. How are you? Nice to meet you, sir. Please help me. I have no one, cried the dog politely. What are you doing here all alone? Let's get you out of the rain, said Jack. He was so happy to be out of the rain and to get some food. Thank you. Thank you for saving my life. I will never forget you, said the dog. You are a very special dog. I will never forget you, said Jack. I hate to give you up, but I will find you a good home, said Jack. The next day, Jack and his friends made and hung flyers hoping to find the dog, his owner, or a home as soon as possible. Jack felt wonderful that there were two brothers, Rob and Chris, that wanted him for their sister and nephew. He knew this would be the perfect family for the dog. Rob and Chris picked up the dog. He left with excitement for his new home, smiling from ear to ear. Little man, do not be scared. Our family will take good care of you, and we have a surprise for you, said Chris. Yes, a little guy who will love you like crazy, said Rob. They called their sister. Nicole, we have a present for our nephew. Meet us at my house soon, said Rob. Shortly after picking up the dog from her brothers, Nicole arrived home with the dog. Mommy! You brought home a dog. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Am I dreaming? He is so cool. I love him. This is the best present ever, said Jake. He is a gift from your Uncle Chris and Rob. He is a little hungry and lonely, but I know he is much better now, said Nicole. Jake and the dog were very happy to meet each other. I am not sure who was more excited. You were the dog, said Nicole. Mommy, he loves to get his belly rubbed, said Jake. What should we call him, said Nicole. Hmm, let's call him Shane, said Jake. That is a good name, young chap, said Shane. They all laughed and bonded as a family. The next day, Nicole and Jake took Shane to get a checkup. He was scared, but after meeting Dr. Mary and new friends, Ella the cat, Toby the deer, and Rupert the turtle, he had a good time. Shane, you are in good health. I will see you next time, said Dr. Mary. Thank you, Doc. The pleasure was mine. And I will see you three amigos in the park, said Shane. On their way home, they walked by the ice cream parlor. Jake asked politely, Mommy, let's celebrate with our new family member and to his good health. With his ears perked up and a big smile, Shane felt so happy, he wanted to make the toes standing with big smile. To my new family, I love you, said Shane. They all laughed at Shane's excitement. I love you more, Shane, said Jake. Soon they arrived home. Jake and Shane had fun playing. I am in heaven. I am never leaving you, Jake. More belly rubs, said Shane. Jake told Shane, You are the best gift ever. I will take good care of you. Me too, but focus, Jake. More belly rubs, said Shane. Jake and Shane were always together. Shane had so much energy. Look at me, Jake. I can boogie. Can you? said Shane. I can, but I prefer to watch you boogie down. Boogie down, said Jake. After watching Shane dance, Jake said, It's time for my homework. You can take a nap. No way. I will be awake just in case you need my help. I promise I will be quiet, said Shane. Let's boogie do the homework, they both sang. They became best pals forever and ever. Every day, Jake would run home from school to play with Shane. Let's go to the park, Shane, said Jake. 
Shane replied, Oh my goodness, you are home so early. I am still taking my nap. Can you go back and finish your education, young chap? Huh? Excuse me? You are being stubborn. You can take a nap later. Let's go. You will meet my best friend, Lee, and the others. I told them about you at school today. Everyone is excited to meet you, said Jake. Just a couple of stretches, my sweet chap. Let me choose the couch or park. Because I love you, I choose the park, said Shane. Yeah, Shane, that's the way to do it. You were awesome, said Jake. After playing for a long time, they were all tired. But Shane had a bundle of energy. Bring him back tomorrow and every day. We had the best time with Shane, said Jake's friends. He is so fast and catches the ball like a pro. Let's play ball again tomorrow. Bye, everyone, said Jake. Everyone said goodbye to each other and went home. Shane enjoyed his new life and new friends. Sometimes he played with Jake's friends, and at other times he played with his friends. He was very grateful to Jack for finding him an awesome family and wanted to let him know that he was fine. Jake and his friends, Elsa, Toby, and Rupert, went with him to find Jack. On their way to find Jack, Shane almost fell in the river. Poor Shane. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That would have been a disaster, said Shane. They searched the neighborhood but could not find Jack. He sent his friends home, but he kept looking for Jack. He entered the city and was determined to find Jack. Finally, he sees Jack across the street sitting on a bench. Jack! Jack! It's me! Remember me? He chanted. With excitement, he barked louder and louder, hoping that Jack would see him across the street. Shane raced across the street. Phew! That was close! Coming, Jack! Shane sighed with relief. He barely escaped getting hit by a blue van. Jack looked very sad. He was worried about his friend. Shane remembered what it was like to be all alone and afraid and did not want his friend, who saved him, to suffer. He wanted to help Jack the same way that Jack helped him to find a home and a family that can make him happy. Hey, buddy, what are you doing here? It's so good to see you happy and healthy. I am not doing so well. I have no home, just like you a few months ago, said Jack. I lost my job and my home, said Jack. I sleep at the shelter. Things will get better. You are here, and I feel better already, said Jack. Jack, you look weak and hungry. The only thing missing is for me to find you on a rainy night. Don't worry. You taught me how to be kind. I will help you. Please cheer up. I will be right back. Shane ran over to the bakery to get Jack something to eat. He returned with a sandwich for Jack. Thank you, Shane. I remember giving you food when we met, said Jack. They both talked about their very similar situations. Shane told Jack, I will find you a home and a family like mine. They are the best. Thank you, buddy, said Jack. Shane gave Jack lots of licks and kisses. Unaware of where Shane could be, Nicole and Jake drove through the neighborhood. They could not find Shane anywhere. Mommy, I hope he is not lost. We have to find him, said Jake. Let's check the city. We will find him. He is a very smart dog, replied Nicole. Finally, they found Shane, and he was happy to see that he was safe with Jack. Jake rushed over to Shane. Hey guys, glad you are here. Jack needs our help, said Shane. We will help Jack, but you have to promise us you will never leave home again. We were very worried about you, said Nicole. I'm so sorry, but I had a hunch Jack needed me. I promise not to leave home again without you, said Shane. Mom, can you please help Jack? He has no place to live, said Shane. He barked nonstop with sadness in his eyes. Please, please let's help. They took Jack to their home. Later on, Nicole helped find him a job and a place to live. Everyone was very proud of Shane for helping Jack. They enjoyed a wonderful family dinner. Shane stood up and said, This calls for a celebration. Yeah, let's celebrate with some music. But Shane, please do not try to boogie down on the chair, said Jake. They all laughed and had a good time. Jack was very grateful to the family. Now every Sunday they brought food to feed the homeless. Shane friends came along to cheer up everyone.
Shin was so happy, he looked at everyone and said, We can do great things when we come together. Cheers to my family, friends, and my good friend Jack. Nicole replied, Cheers to you, Shane. Your heart is so big. You have so much love for everyone. 